hey guys and welcome to my channel welcome to another studio vlog um so today is thursday and um things are interesting this next week because um, i was changing my internet contract the contract was up and i always change if they're not going to offer me at the same price so i rang my, my supplier and i said you know what can you do for me if I stay and what they wanted um, was 35 euro per month for six months and then 55 euro per month for 12 months which no because I can get it with Vodafone and Sky um, for 35 euro per month for 12 months um, on a 12 month contract so um, I said sorry no I'm gonna have to change and um, he said ring back once your contract was up, which was this past Monday, um, and you know, cancel them because if not, you'll get some sort of cancellation fee, um, like a penalty. So I rang yesterday, which was Wednesday, and I said I want to cancel, and she said that'll take one to two days, which in that I wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, okay, that's fine. And then I signed up at my new supplier. I actually got it for 30 euros per month. Um, so I signed up there and then two hours later my internet was cut off and yeah now I have no internet so it's interesting and I still obviously have to do my orders I still have to do all that sort of stuff but I have to hotspot it off my phone and I know from past experience this happens pretty much every August um my hotspot my my mobile data is going to run out or they're going to restrict it um should i say so i'm trying to get all the orders i have three orders outstanding i'm going to try get them done today if not definitely two of the orders need to be done today um and get them out the door and yeah so that's where we are now so something that's interesting is um usually on etsy um, when you get your order in, oh you can't see me at all, <laughs> usually on Etsy when you get your order in you get a, like an invoice sheet for the person which is what I kind of write on so I'll just, so this person ordered um, that you know they have their address here, what they've ordered and then there's also like a packing slip of it so I can use it and I kind of keep that for my own files or whatever. Um, but I have a customer who this is her 12th order for me um, but she has Revolut which is an app here that we can transfer money through so she decided because she was buying something that was a bit custom um, she decided to pay me via Revolut which I think is great I might try to get more people to do that <laughs> it's just simpler but so I don't forget about her order which I let's be honest I probably wouldn't even ever forget but because I don't, I made up my own little invoices on Canva. Um, so I just, I did it wrong. Patricia won't mind. So um, you can see just a little invoice it has my logo that I have for now. Invoice who it was for, the date of it, what she bought, um, her payment, which she paid by Revolut, a little thank you, and then my kind of details here at the bottom. So I have two of these, one for me and one that I will give to Trisha. Um, and I just thought that was a cute way to do it so I don't forget. So she's going to be the third order um, because we do it by um, order how people ordered should I say so today is Clearan in Westmead and then we have Gordana in Slovenia I think that's the first time I got one from Slovenia
So I'm just making some new um, envelopes for myself. So for my binder, um, I just have the my glitter ones, which I actually really do like, but I suppose I should be advertising on my own. Um, these kind of glitter effect ones here with the trackers on the back of it. So they're the ones I currently have, but I'm just gonna change it. I have three colors. Um, well, I'm hoping the black and the gold um, work out I'm gonna test them out anyways, but I know obviously for sure that the the pink work because you would have saw me <laughs> packing them for other people um but So I'm gonna do pink gold and black and um, for myself um and So there's four pink three gold and three black is what's gonna come up. So I'm gonna make these into um, Envelope for myself just so I can do some self advertising, you know, especially when I do my um, cash stuffings. Um, I kind of tend to do them over on TikTok and Instagram. So um, I am going to start doing them again on what you call it YouTube as well. But um, yeah, these are kind of the start of it, and then I have to, you know transfer it from there into the laminate and all that good, kind of good stuff. gold is the first one I've ever tried when I tried to make these um, originally and the gold never ever turned out properly so now that I kind of know how to make them well no more than I did how to make them I'm really hoping that the gold works how I want it to work because um, I think it will look nice when it's all laminated it is matte um which sometimes causes an itch an issue um but i think it will be okay it's coming i've cut it good i think two of the problems that i came across um 
when cutting vinyl is that I don't cut it with enough force. Um, I don't cut it with enough force, which means that, you know, it's barely cut, which causes problem when I go to lift it like this. Everything comes away with it. Now that has worked good um, because usually that's not how that goes. <laughs> usually I'm left with a whole loads of, like I'm picking up the, the, the letters and stuff. But for this right now, just kind of help it along sometimes. See how the S is kind of coming up a little bit there? So you, ha you have to still be careful, but I'm cutting it at a good depth now or force or whatever the heck it's called. Um, the default one on my silhouette is a 10. But I have it set to 16 now. Um, and that just cuts a little bit more. Is it called force? Um, yeah, force. So just fix the S because it's after lifting up a bit. So we don't want it. There we go. So, so far this looks like it's turning out good. There is no problems yet. But you can never, ever, ever speak too soon when it comes to vinyl. It just does what it wants all the time. It does what it wants. Like with this dot for the eye, it's just doing what it wants there. So let's hope I don't. S's, C's and I's seem to be my problem. You see with the other ones, like I didn't have as much problems weeding it as the gold. There's just something, something with this gold that doesn't like to cut properly. So I think that maybe like once I get used to it, it will work properly. But if it doesn't, once this gold is gone and sold out, I don't think I'll be getting any more. It's just too much so then we peel it and you are wasting with these you are wasting a lot so that's why it is kind of better not to get the very very expensive ones um at least until you know exactly what you're doing and you might have to waste as much Or maybe I'm just doing it wrong. I am I am only new to doing this, so I could be doing it wrong. So if you do know anything about vinyl and doing these cash envelopes, let me know. I'm open to correction. What's happening here? I'm open to correction on how I should be doing it. But so far this is what's working. So there we have it with the gold. We have three, so three black, three gold, and three pink. So when they're made, this is what they're looking like. So basically it's a, you know, you can put money in there and it's just see-through. So we have a black, then we have the gold, which turned out perfect. And then we have the pink as well. So the pink is currently on my website or on Etsy. Um, so I need to put up the black and the gold. So I still have four, seven, seven left to do. Um, so once they're all done, I'll show you what they're like in my binder. I am getting new binders. Hopefully they'll be in at the start of September. I'm so looking forward to them. Um, and I think these will look so pretty. All of my cash envelopes will look super, super nice in them. But um, for now, this is these. Hey guys, so before I end today's um, studio vlog, I just wanted to chat to you a little bit about why I started doing this business or this hobby or, or whatever you want to call it. Right now, it's probably more of a hobby that I'm trying to turn into a business. Um, 
but I got this question I get this question a lot about why would I start it um so basically back in 2016 when I was like seven eight months pregnant with Ava on this channel here I was talking about how I never know where we're spending our money we had a little bit of debt and you know we were just my job that I was in was going to be ending it was only a contract for a year so it's going to be ending like a month before Ava was due and I was like what are we going to do um you know I don't, I was just kind of having one of those days where it was just all catching up on me. Um, a subscriber reached out to me and said that they follow Dave Ramsey um, and I should look him up because he changed her life. So no offense to Americans, but I was like, this has to be some sort of scam, you know, like I'm going to look up this Dave Ramsey person and he's going to want all my money in order to help me somehow you know get out of debt and have a financial plan so i looked him up online found some bits about him i found that he had like a budgeting tool that you could use for free and um, all this sort of stuff and he also had loads of books um like a podcast and maybe he didn't have a podcast but he has like a radio show that he records on youtube so i started watching some of them and i was like this man is blunt like as blunt as it gets but i'm going to ignore the american of of him um, and that's again no offense to Americans at all um, it's just you know I was very skeptical and um, so I was like I'm just gonna ignore the American advice that he gives and I'm just going to try and focus on how I can apply the Dave Ramsey um, zero base budget to myself so I sat down which I'm pretty sure like this notepad here that I have um, or maybe some other notepad and I wrote out every single thing that for the last like six months that we spent money on from our bank account I wrote it all down in detail I started highlighting all of the areas that would be the same I started doing like a monthly how much we spent in January February or whatever you know like the last kind of six months um, and figured out how much I spend each month on all the different things I also then knew our bills that were coming out our subscriptions that sort of stuff and I wrote down how much money that we would be bringing in once I stopped working now um, here in Ireland you do get maternity leave and all that sort of jazz so um, it kept going on and on and then in his book um, so I did the only thing I bought that was Dave Ramsey related was his total money makeover book I bought the Kindle the Kindle version um, and I was like okay I can do this you know um, I can get a handle on our finances and one of the things he talks about is paying for everything in cash um, and at the time obviously like most people we were just using our card now there was no contact list back in 2016 so you know we were putting our card in for everything paying it um back um so then he started talking about using cash so then i was trying to think to myself like how am i going to know what cash is for what things um, and then I stumbled upon um, on YouTube people using cash envelopes and um, you know separating their um, their their money with um, like different coloured envelopes and all that sort of stuff. And I was like, that's a great idea. And then I was like, surely those are kind of easy to make. Um, so I did. I just made my own ones, and I was like, this is great. So then I started making budgeting videos as well, where I shared our budget, every single item that we were spending money on, and how we did at the end. And then I'd show how I was stuffing my cash envelopes. And then somebody said, um, oh, these are great. Where can I get some of these? And then I was like, you know what? Maybe I could sell these. Like maybe that's a thing that I could do. Um, so you know, I sold it to some random person. You know, and. Then then I decided hey I'm gonna open an Etsy shop now um, so I opened my Etsy shop and it's just gone from there every single like every once in a while I change the kind of direction that I want to go or I feel like I changed the direction I want to go but making cash envelopes has helped me or using cash envelopes has helped me with my budget and understand our spending so so much Um, you know at the start like and as Dave Renzi says um, you know there's always one who wants to do it and one who doesn't and Robert was like this is mad we're fine we have enough money you're being over you're over analyzing it and I do I do like you know what's that 
six years on I do overanalyze every single thing that we spend and I do get tough on myself if we spend money that I hadn't really allocated um but using the cash envelopes and using my binder and using now I'm gonna start doing the challenges as a fun way to kind of motivate myself um I love it I love every single thing about it and um, every single day I uh, well maybe not every single day now but you know at the start every single day I was checking my bank account going in you know tracking my expenses all of the important things that helped me understood our spending and eventually we got to the point where we had paid off all our debt and we started saving like you know three to six months of expenses and that's where I stopped on the Dave Ramsey thing because I just was thinking to myself he started talking about Roth IRAs and all that sort of stuff and while I could you know get the Irish version of that I just was decided that you know I've come this far let me see what I can do on my own I learned so much about the zero based budgeting about you know being strict and disciplined and all that sort of stuff was paying off debt and all that thing um and I still have like I still do follow the Dave Ramsey kind of Facebook groups that I joined um they're they are very very helpful but there's also people who are very very into his method which is fine because I have so many people um but I have since obviously during the pandemic we found out some stuff about Dave Ramsey and the way he treats like people that he works for him and it just it just doesn't sit with me but I will say that it did his method up until you know a couple of years in did help me understand our spending understand what I wanted it to do and then you know give every cent a name as he says and um, so every single cent that we get paid that Robert gets paid and um, because I don't get any money and um, but that Robert gets paid um does have a job it does get a name so that it goes and and does something instead of just sitting around so that's really why i started to do it it was more of a personal thing that i started to use myself and then somebody asked me hey can i get some of them and then i just went from there um but yeah i really really enjoy it i am currently making you know as I said to you guys, I showed you guys um, in another video, I'm making like A6 versions of budgets. I'm just kind of trying to tweak it now. I was trying to get it in two pages, but I think the way I want to set out my budget is not going to work like that. It's going to be on like a three page, which is a lot of pages. Um, but you know what? It's fine. We'll work it out, won't we? Um, so yeah, I'm in the midst of doing that. Um, I'm going to then, I have new binders coming, which I'm so so happy and excited about they should be coming in the next couple of days so this is the binders i currently have they're like um colored transparent ones and they come with one zipped pocket but i'm going to start selling more zipped pockets so that's it guys that is today's video i really do hope that you have enjoyed it please come back next week i'll be doing another studio vlog that i'm going to start recording today um it's the first day back at school so um i feel like i have all of this extra time <laughs> um but i'm sure i'll fill it up pretty quickly because i do have some youtube videos to be recording and editing and also some orders to be doing but um yeah thank you so much for watching i am so happy that people are watching these studio vlogs because it lets me get my story out there and it also that helps me you know um advertise the business um on this platform um so yeah my etsy shop um link is down in the description if anybody is interested in that and if you want to see kind of my budgeting method in working um for me um i do have a budgeting channel i haven't uploaded there in a while but it's over there thanks guys i'll talk to you soon bye